All right, so here we have uh, the latest uh, motors from Emax, the LS series. So these come in 2206 and 2207 sizes, and they have pretty much covered all the uh, spectrum of KV values for both motors. So we got the 2206, 2300 KV on the low end, 2206, 2700 KV, that's the high end, and 2206, 2550 KV, the mid KV value. And for 2207, uh, we start at the low 1900 kV, so this, this should be good for up to 6S, no problem with 5 inch props. Then for the mid value, we got 2207, 2400, and for the high value for this size, we have 2550. So they decided not to do a 2700 kV, uh, possibly because they think uh, it's just a little bit uh, overkill for the 2207. Though some people do run them on 2207, but 2550 is a somewhat mid high kV, I, I guess. Uh, that should be a good motor. So thanks to Emacs USA for sending these motors for testing so I can put them on the thrust stand and uh, tear, them, uh, tear them down and show them to you guys. So. Thanks Emax, much appreciated. So I'm gonna be testing all these motors one by one. I have to put them on the thrust stand and see how they perform on the thrust stand and how they compare to two other sizes like the 2306 or 2206. So it'll be an interesting comparison for these uh, light spec motors. Uh, the usual, you know, I'll do the usual props, uh, five inch and a couple of six inch props uh, on 4S mostly. Uh, for some of the motors, I've started to run 5S as long as I can see that it's not gonna fry my ESC or my thrust stand. So I'll I'll do 5S for some for some of them on, on the light prop on uh, on the HQ 5040 by 3. So that'll give you more or less an idea of. Uh, of of what the motors do since I've tested other motors uh, on 5S uh, with that same prop uh, so it's good to compare motor to motor uh, although keep in mind that in the thrust test uh, since it's static the amps are going to be a little bit exaggerated uh, a little bit high also the thrust is going to be higher than than what you actually get but uh, since I keep everything consistent as much as I can with the power supply and you can make pretty good comparisons from all my tests when you look at the amps uh, for each of the tests don't let that high amp fool you you know it's kind of a uh, exaggerated you know that's not the actual amps that you're gonna get because you gotta keep in mind that I'm using a power supply that keeps the voltage uh, pretty steady at almost nearly I start at 16.1 volts uh, so it keeps the voltage pretty high throughout the test run in comparison when you're running a, a lipo that's powering four motors uh, when you throttle up, the voltage goes down as the as the battery um, discharges and as the battery sags, the voltage sags, you know, and as the battery uh, heats up, uh, also there's more resistance. Uh, so there's going to be lower amps in the air. So it, it doesn't mean that the amps you see here on the thrust stand, that's what you're going to get when you fly. Uh, it's going to be considerably lower, So uh, so keep that in mind. So anyway, uh, uh, let me go ahead and uh, take this out of the box and show them to you guys and I'll, I'll do the usual teardown and then uh, onto the thrust test. Uh, so these come in Emax's uh, usual box and they also come with the scratch uh, serial number uh, so you don't get counterfeits. So that's pretty uh, typical of uh, Emax now uh, these days uh, since uh, there's a lot of uh, counterfeit uh, operations out there on eBay, so make sure you get your uh, original Emacs motor. Uh, uh, so this is the usual Emacs uh, plastic box. As usual also lately uh, Emacs have, has been uh, including extra hardware. Uh, they do include an extra shaft uh, retaining screw with the washer, so that's good. Everything's pretty clearly labeled. Mounting screws for four millimeter arms, and also another set for three millimeter arms. Here's the motor. It comes uh, in this uh, nicely padded box, and as you can see, a uh, pretty pretty nice looking motor. And it also comes with a uh, aluminum nylock thread, so that's nice. Pretty much all you need. New design from Emacs. Uh, since they're going for uh, lightweight on this one so so as you can see the bell is uh, been designed to make it as uh, light and as strong as possible and uh, you can see that they've uh, gone to great lengths of designing the 
the spokes here as you can see for lightness they've actually done uh, there's like a, a groove right here so this is kind of like a C channel so so that kind of uh, instead of being just a flat um, just a flat spoke uh, they've done this uh, kind of U channel shape so that's kind of like a structural shape you know so it uh, it helps uh, keep weight low and while maintaining uh, strength uh, so very nice uh, also color scheme is all black with the uh, polished aluminum edges there and looks like they have a, a texture propeller base here so that it, uh, the bell grabs the propeller so that's pretty good and uh, another thing you can see also is that uh, the shaft uh, is an integrated shaft and uh, they do have uh, I guess that's part of the motor shaft uh, it's inserted through the propeller shaft so so that should that helps with the uh, strength it's kind of like a composite shaft uh, with uh, hardened steel and the aluminum uh, portion and as you can see the base is pretty minimal very small and they went uh, with the 16 by 16 so they're not doing 16 by 19 anymore which is uh, pretty good I think you really don't need to have those two different uh, patterns but of course uh, all the frames now will have to start to adapt to this new pattern 16 by 16 so that's good also helps keep the weight low but once the screw is out let's uh, take this apart and we'll see it up close Okay, so here's the stator for the 2207. They're using 0.15 millimeter silicon steel laminations. And here's the stator height, uh, seven millimeters, so no surprises there. And as you can see also, pretty neat uh, windings, typical from, from Emacs. Uh, very, very high quality on the overall build of the motor. Multi-strand wire, as usual from Emacs, they like to use multi-strand wire, and uh, uh, does pretty well with that type of wire, as we've seen with the 2306 and the 2205 uh, from the RS series. And uh, the shaft on these motors, uh, they decided to go with three millimeter shaft. I guess that's to keep the the weight low. So no four millimeter shafts. So that, yeah, that does help keep the weight low. So it's supposed to be hard and steel, so it should be pretty strong, uh, same as the RS2205. Uh, and uh, these are arc magnets, and uh, they're supposed to be N N48SH arc magnets, so a little bit lower uh, strength than the usual N52 magnets that other motors have. Uh, so, you know, that uh, they've done that on purpose, I imagine, uh, uh, that that helps keep the uh, uh, possibly keep the weight low and also helps with the performance uh, of the motor. I guess they're looking for a more smoother performance. Performance when they design motors, uh, they can play with the magnet strength and the the air gap and the laminations and the uh, copper. So all together, you know, they're able to. Uh, match performance as if they were using N52 magnets or or uh, you know dif uh, different stator and all that so so no no worries there so pretty interesting they went with uh, N48 magnets so as you can see there's the uh, the insert on the shaft so it's kind of like a composite shaft with the hardened steel core and the aluminum uh, sheath on the outside, which is part of the it's part of the bell, uh, part of the bell cap, and uh, a pretty good amount of glue, as you can see there, on the magnets. So no way those magnets are coming off. Uh, that's that's pretty good amount of glue. Bearings are NSK bearings, Japanese bearings. So those are supposed to be really good quality, and these are uh, three internal diameter inner diameter and uh, three millimeters and then eight millimeters on the OD the outside and I believe they are three millimeters uh, uh, the thickness of the bearing is uh, three millimeters so there you see the base uh, pretty not overly thick and not overly uh, thin either pretty pretty good amount of material there 
so it's the you know what we come to call the naked uh, naked bottom so another advantage of the naked bottom is that uh, uh, when you're mounting the motors now you're able to see and make sure that the screws don't don't hit the uh, the winding so that's that's one of the good things uh, besides redu uh, weight reduction on this basis uh, so no more screws messing up the windings and causing shorts so that's good the 2206 it's very similar I mean almost identical so the only difference is going to be the height of the stator there they are for comparison uh, you can just barely see the difference between the two other, other than that they're pretty much pretty much the same uh, they're using the same uh, uh, the sign on the on the bell and uh, the bell cap everything else, uh, the base everything's pretty similar uh, same type of magnets and uh, and windings and, and there's and also this the shaft retaining screw is the same uh, so these come with uh, about 125 millimeters worth worth of uh, wire for the motor leads and these uh, they're using 18 gauge wire so a little bit thicker than than others and what they're claiming is that uh, by going with the thicker wire they're able to get the uh, current more efficiently uh, all the way to the motor from the ESC uh, and they're claiming uh, 5% up to 5% uh, performance increase so so that's good I suppose uh, to have to agree that uh, thicker wire is usually better less resistance uh, those are a little bit more weight but uh, not a lot you know just a uh, couple of grams it's not bad uh, so let's uh, let's see what it, what the motor weighs with uh, this uh, thick wire uh, with 125 millimeters worth of wire okay so with 125 millimeter worth of wire the 2207 weighs in at about 35 grams so 35 grams we cut the wires to about 50 millimeters uh, we would take out that much so 35 grams minus uh, 3.4 it's about uh, uh, about 31.6 uh, so 31.6 grams uh, with the 50 millimeter worth of wire so 1.6 wire uh, should be what the 50 millimeter uh, 50 millimeter wires uh, weigh so pretty good pretty good weight for the 2207 around you know around 31 to 32 grams with uh, usable wires the 2206 is supposed to weigh 20 eight grams without any wire so so let's see what it weighs with the 125 millimeter worth of wire it's 32.6 so 32.6 minus uh, th uh, 3.4 is about 29.2 so pretty good weights pretty good weights for these motors uh, they're certainly uh, certainly light so they'll be they'll go well with all the the light bills that you guys are you guys are doing uh, so pretty good option for those of you that want that want the ultimate uh, light uh, uh, quad all right so let's move on to the thrust test
All right, so here are the thrust test results for the Emax LS 2207 1900 kV. This is the second motor I test from this series. Uh, the first one was the 2550, which is uh, on the channel, so you can look at those results. The motor came in uh, pretty close at the stated kV at uh, 1950 as measured by my thrust stand. So I tested the motor on 3S, 4S, and 5S. Because of the low voltage, uh, this motor can run on all those three voltages depending on the prop you use. It will also run on 6S, I think. Should be no problem running 6S on some of these uh, lower load props like the 5043 by 3 and these other tri-blades. It, it, it should run on 6S. It's just looking at the overall power, it looks like it can sustain a higher voltage. Uh, but I only run it to 5S so that gives you an idea of how this motor is performing. Uh, pretty efficient because of the low KV. Uh, and the construction with the lower string magnets so that that's looking pretty good as you can see uh, thr of course thrust numbers are going to be super high but if you look at the efficiency it's pretty good on this motor this would be a good uh, mild freestyle motor for five inch props uh, on six inch props and seven inch as you can see uh, the motor is that's where it's getting lots of thrust on 4s so even on 5S with the 6 inch props, it's running at a pretty good uh, overall power and load. So it should, it should run 5S on 6 inch. 7 inch also on 3S, it's doable. So some of you guys that may be looking for a motor for, I don't know, maybe for a, a 6 or 7 inch cruiser, this could fit the bill. So there you go, that's the thrust results. Uh, uh, it'd be good to compare it to the 2550 just to see the difference so that that's available uh, those uh, thrust tables available on the 2550 video uh, from a few weeks ago so you can download that thrust table and compare it to this one uh, I provide the Excel file uh, link it's on the video description it's a link to the Dropbox so you can download that and just put them side by side and make comparisons Alright, I uh, hope you like uh, these uh, results uh, in this video and hope you find this useful uh, and until the next video I'll be testing the 2206 versions uh, pretty soon. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks I should have something uploaded so keep an eye out for those. Alright, thanks for watching.